Hello again. It's uh, Paul Beckwith. I'm continuing my discussions on the crazy decline of Antarctic sea ice. Basically, the sea ice surrounding Antarctica, which has more variability than the Arctic sea ice, has been increasing about a percent per decade over most of the 40-year record. But it reached a maximum in 2014, and since then it's undergone a precipitous decline at a rate over three times faster than the fastest decline of Arctic sea ice. So I'm going to get into the paper and the nitty-gritty as to why this is occurring. But before we do that, I just want to check in for a second on my colleague, you know, and co-star of my video shows, Sir Shackleton, the explorer. And he's not very cooperative today. He's not interested in, uh, you know, doing too much today. It's funny. Um, come on, hey. You know cats, they hate getting their the pads of their feet um, rubbed. Trying to get a response from him, but uh, he just wants to sleep. You gonna bite me? You gonna bite me? Ah, we'll leave him alone. It's too hot. Okay, sorry um, for for this diversion. Most people like seeing Shackleton, the explorer. You know, some people, you know, are they don't. <laughs> so I try not to overdo it. Okay, so so I talked about um, basically basically the Antarctic sea ice is declining extremely rapidly since 2014. So let's have a look at what the latest data shows on Antarctica. So of course, how, what do we do? We Google Arctic sea ice graphs. And on the Arctic sea ice graphs page, if you click on the National Snow and Ice Data Center, you can get information on Antarctica as well as the Arctic. And there's a couple images here, like this one here is Antarctic sea ice extent, and this is global sea ice area. You can also find those. So this, even though it's, you know, this is primarily on the Arctic, it does have stuff on Antarctica. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the Antarctic daily images. So this is Antarctic sea ice. Um, extent is updated to um, today's date or yesterday's date, I believe. This is what's happening in 2019. Of course, you know, when the it's opposite to the Arctic. So the Arctic minimum is in September, the Antarctic maximum is in September. This will increase till September. This is the last year, 2018, and this is the medium and the variation. So we're we're setting we're we're well in the minimum setting a record here for Antarctic sea ice extent being the lowest you know and it's been the lowest basically you know this graph is showing since April the 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 minimum is usually reached in in February for for the Antarctic sea ice okay so we're in record low territory this is the sea ice extent. Um, July 4th, 2019. This is the medium ice edge, 1981 to 2010, the brownish line here. And you can see where we are this year. And this is missing. Now you can see some big notches here, big notch here, big gap missing here, and so on. So you can see, you know, there's a little bit of extension over the norm here in this region, interestingly. Right? The Basically, the wind patterns are circumventing the Antarctic this way, bringing ocean currents, circumventing Antarctica this way, because Coriolis deflects things to the left. Basically, those, when those winds are very strong, it pulls out and the ice gets pulled outward. Now, what I will show is that the, the, um, the, this, um, the southern annular mode, if you like, is being broken. It's being... Um, impinged on by the 
very, very wavy jet streams, which are having this effect. They're not pulling the ice out like they used to, so the ice extent is rapidly declining. At least that's what I'm going to try to show you. This is the sea ice concentration. Another viewpoint here. Again, big notches here and here. And if we go here, this is the, the uh, graph of the extent versus time, which I've already showed you. Okay, and how do I get this? I go to the National Snow and Ice Data Center and I click on Antarctic Daily Images to bring that up. Okay, so let's move along here. This is the Antarctic sea ice extent. And this is the, the average is a dashed line from 73 to 2018. 2014 is a record high year for sea ice extent in Antarctica. That's the green line here. And you can see, you know, how it's much above the average and it goes actually off the scale here a little bit. You know, it surpasses 20 million square kilometers that year at the maximum. Maximum in September, minimum in February. Okay, and then 20, so that's 2014. And then 2015, 2016, and 2017 had huge declines. And, we, and then 2018 and 2019 is where we are here. 2019, we're setting records for the lowest sea ice extent for this time of year. And it'll be interesting to see where we are up here when we end up. But we had, this is uh, 2017 was the lowest right here. 2016 was, was actually the lowest right here. Okay, so, so we had increases, increases, increases up to 2014, which is the maximum Antarctic sea ice extent. And then a huge plummet of over you know, over 2 million um, square kilometers in the average. And this drop here, you know, if we're up here, we're over 20, um, say 20 and a half, guessing, down to these numbers here are more like uh, 18. So, you know, two and a half, three 3 million square kilometers lower than the 2014 maximum. Okay, so we're on a very sharp downward trend and if we go back here, then this is, so this is the site, you know, when I clicked on, um, you know, if you click on, uh, where is it? Um, if you click on this graph here, it brings up this um, site. And I clicked on here, this is what I just showed you, okay. This is what, what I just talked about. This one here has different years. Okay, um, selected. This is 2014 is included. And uh, 1986, this is a year, interestingly, was very, very low as well. And you can click on these. This is the Arctic sea ice extent. This is Antarctic sea ice extent. So let me just show you these. So the variation, uh, you know, we dropped down to about four um, million square kilometers here or so. This was, um, this is uh, four, this is two, this is, you know, three something here. Okay, in 2012, that was the record minimum sea ice extent in the Arctic. And the maximum is generally somewhere, you know, it was over 16 million square kilometers. And here it's over, it's 14 and a half or so. Okay, so the variation here is this is is uh, this amount here. So it's roughly you know roughly say 14 and a half down to four. You know we got a 10 million square kilometer seasonal variation. Okay, and if we go to Antarctica, um, the variation here is much larger. The sea ice extent in in uh, in uh, February is, is much, much smaller in, in Antarctica than in the Arctic. Okay, it doesn't have an enclosed basin. And the, the uh, upper level is also higher. So the, the drop here, you know, is from close to 20 to, be, to below five. You know, it's about 16 million square kilometers. Over here, it would be about 17 and a half down to 
two and a half, yeah, 15 million square kilometers. So what you can see is, you know, there was a drop here in the 70s, you know, an increase, you know, that 1% increase roughly per, per decade, you know, a, a maximum in 2014, and then a, a sharp drop. Okay, so that's what we're looking at um, from this data. Okay, this is global sea ice volume anomaly. So if you add the Arctic and Antarctic, then this is the anomaly that you see. Okay, so you can see that, um, you know, in 2014, when Antarctica was at that record high, it brought up the number, and since then, Antarctica has plummeted. So most of this decline here is from Antarctica. And this is the general trend, the general, uh, this is the anomaly trend of, of, of uh, sea ice, you know, if you include both poles. Okay, so let's go to the paper. Um, again, from this article, the Guardian article, you can go here and you can just collect, uh, select the article here, the scientific article here. Or you can just Google the title, a 40-year record reveals gradual Antarctic sea ice increases followed by decreases at rates far exceeding the rates seen in the Arctic. Okay, so let's look at the results of this paper. So first of all, you can divide the Arctic into five different sections. So we're all talking on the same page. This is the Weddell Sea section, Indian Ocean section, Western Pacific Ocean section, Ross Sea, and the Belling, Shousen Sea, slash Amundsen Sea. So five sectors, and you can look at data for each sector. So this is the ice extent in the overall southern hemisphere from the, over the 40-year record, and you can see the fluctuation, and you can see there's a general increase and then a sharp decrease starting in 2014 here. Um, this is the monthly averages over the whole record. So generally the minimum is in February, and the maximum is in September for the overall basin. This is the year-to-year -year trend line and the year-to-year, -year, the, the deviation about that trend line. And what you can see is you can see, again, where the variability is going way, way up. It's like a critical slowing down as, we're, as we undergo a phase transition. Um, and this is a smooth version of the averages and the large increase to 2014 and the large decrease from 2014 to 2017, slight recovery in 2018. Okay, that's the overall basin. Then we can look at the Weddell Sea, um, you know, and we can see some, most uh, minimums are still in February. The maximum does vary a little bit. Um, you can see the variation of the ice um, here the variability and what's going on, sharp drop here. Um, you can compare the slopes of the changes of all of the data for the different regions and then the whole Southern Ocean. This is the Indian Ocean, almost no, it goes to almost no ice and it goes to what, three and a half uh, million square kilometers or so. Again, a drop from here, you know, so you can have, I, I, this, is, this paper is open source, so just Google the title. Um, and have a look at this data yourself, the Western Pacific Ocean. So different regions, you know, it looks like the maximum here, you know, it's more of a flatter curve up here, August, September, October, still the minimum in February. Um, this is the Ross Sea, right? So it's divided into regions and um, then the Belling, Shousen, slash Amundsen Sea, okay? And, uh, you know, this is the overall um, images over 40 years through, you know, what happens generally in a year with the error bars and stuff, the sea ice trends over the 40 year period. Okay, and here we go. You know, this is the key graph here, the total Southern hemisphere, total Northern hemisphere data. Okay, um, so the idea Okay, um, so the key thing is, so all of the data is there. Now, what's causing the um, situation here? Um, and I'm going to continue this, obviously, in a third video because I have a lot of things to say. So we'll start looking into some of the reasons that people have invoked for this behavior in Antarctica.